Psalm 25 verse 9. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his ways. Alternatively, he leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. Humility consists in recognizing one's need. Humility consists in having a right view of oneself. Humility consists in having a right view of oneself in view of that God, the good and upright God, the everlasting God, the creator of the hands of the earth. Many times in life we have come across blind men and they are blind from one reason or another. In fact, one of the saints that we looked at today in our hymn, we look at today in the full study is, is Fanny Crosby who had blindness. And humility can be associated with blindness in the sense that when we compare ourselves with God who knows all things, God who created all things, then in relation to God and in relation to his glory, his power, his ability, his all-seeing nature, his all-knowing nature, his covenant-keeping nature, his faithfulness, we are like blind people. In fact, if we are in our sins, then we are indeed not even blind, but we are dead. And what madness would we choose for us to allow ourselves to lead each other? For us to lead each other, for the blind to lead the blind. Indeed, we will fall into pits. And we have fallen into pits. Just like you came to a, if you would come on a road and see two blind people, yeah, one holding the other hand of the other and them walking, you would tell them, you know, you would want to tell one, maybe he doesn't know the other is blind and vice versa. But God who leads the humble is not a blind God. God is the creator of the ends of the earth. And he delights to lead the humble. People who will willingly put their hands in the hand of God and let God lead them, both as being in front of them and being beside them, because Jesus is our present help. He is Emmanuel and he is still our example. So he is with us through his spirit and he is the goal to which we are aiming at. And so today's verse, it's a beautiful, beautiful truth, a beautiful, glorious truth that God indeed guides the humble. God will make us humble and he will guide us, having made us humble. And even in the guiding us, even in the leading us, he will keep us humble. And he will do this as he leads us in truth, he will not lead us by ways that have death in them or lies in them. Yes, the way may have some thorns, there are trials on the way, but the ways are truth. And he teaches us in his way, the ways of life, the ways of joy and power and righteousness and peace in the Holy Spirit. Those are the ways and this is our God, who is so good, so lowly, so meek, that he calls us to he calls us and invite us, invites us to come and learn of him, for he is lowly and meek. And indeed, when we come to him, we will find not only guidance, but we will also find rest for our souls. For the Lord is good and upright. Glory be to his name forever and ever.